Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff here at Furco Family Farm. We've got meat birds that have been in a brooder for about two and a half weeks now. They're growing really fast. They're outgrowing the brooder. It's a beautiful day, so I think it's time we get them out on pasture. Let's go. All right. For those of you that are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell. Stay alert when we release new videos. Take a look guys. They are getting huge. They're feathering out nicely. Now these are a Cornish cross bro uh, broiler chicken. We have 19 here. We ordered 20, but only 19 came. I don't know what happened. There was a mix up or something. The package was actually a little messed up. So we have 19. We're gonna get these guys put out in the chicken tractor uh, on the pasture. So I've got the Premier One fence and the charger box that goes with it. We're gonna get that set up out here. No particular design is gonna pull that out. Get the tractor pulled out. We're gonna get a bigger food dish and a water uh, container. I have an idea of how I might be able to suspend it from the roof to try to prevent the water from getting nasty as quick as it did last year. So we'll make a little bit of tweaks as we get it out there, but first things first, we need to get this fence up. All right, so I got the fence up. This 100 foot long fence is kind of weird when you try to put it out into like a movable area. It doesn't quite make a proper rectangle or square or anything. So he's got to kind of work with what you got. I wanted to get a nether fence this year. That was the issue. I was going to get a secondary one that we can double up and attach it so we can cover a lot bigger area. I may eventually get another one before these chicks are ready for harvest, but for now, this will just this will do. I've got to get the charger box cleaned up here and attached. I usually put it right over here on the corner somewhere. Then once that's attached, I just got a couple of those black posts just for reinforcement on some of them droopier white posts. It's supposed to be help the brace up corners and whatnot. We'll get those attached and then when we'll be able to put the birds out here. So I think I'm gonna get the uh, charger box set up here and get a couple of those posts set up and we'll get the chicks out in the tractor. All right, so the way this is works, this ground rod here slides into the bottom of this uh, station down here. This holds the battery, the charge, uh, and the solar panel charges the battery in here. But before you put this on, it's best to put it in the ground first. So what I want to do is just get a general idea where this needs to go. Somewhere in here. 
That's good. Save just enough room to put your ground on here. Put that up here. I'm going to put the, uh, the red line, the orange line here, whatever you want to call it. I think it was more red when we got it. That's your charge line. That's going to be your hot, and that's going to come over to the fence. There's a little metal clip here that I just clipped to that charges the fence. That'll send the charge all around, so at nighttime, any predators and whatnot makes it a little bit harder for them to get in. We'll just put it that way. But that's on. Charge is on. Just going to wipe this down a little bit. Probably have to spray that clean or wipe it. Yeah, then we just... What I do here is I'll come over when we go to let the chickens move the chickens every day, come to this corner. We'll just take this off, pick this up out of the ground, move this out of the way, and that's our gate. So we just kind of go through like this. But for right now, I wanted to get in here and get these black posts. I'm gonna, you can see they're all bent up. Last year, the yard was pretty hard when I put these in so they bent it up pretty good don't really need these and to be honest I'm probably gonna try to do without them right now I do have one here to hold the starting point that's kind of where the gate is since we're gonna be moving these uh, frequently I'll just kind of try to go without the black for now we'll just set them in the back here bring them back up to the barn all right we're ready to move the chicken tractor in there it's gonna grow go over here and grab the handle we have this rope that we use to drag it uh, and in the very back, there's a little sled kind of a tray in the back. I have an old board that's on the bottom. Makes it glide a little easier on the ground. So all we're gonna do is just kind of lock this up and get it drug out there. All right, and that's all we're doing. We're getting this chicken tractor. I wanted to pull it in just far enough inside of this uh, electric fence here, this Premier One netting, just far enough in where it clears and you can get through to pull it, because uh, I want to use up as much of this ground. We're going to be moving this once or twice a day for the next couple months. So once we go through here, use this area, we're going to move the net farther back, do that. Then we'll move up the field and we'll just keep rotating um, until harvest date. That way they constantly have fresh uh, grass and forage to free range on. Uh, what I want to do is put a board from the middle here to the, well, from the front middle here in the center to the middle board there. And what that'll do is give me a board that I could hang the water and or the feeder on so it's not sitting directly on the ground and getting nasty with the birds. Uh, right now I don't have the carabiner hooks and stuff that I want to do for the design that I came up with. So we'll have to wait on that and maybe come back and do that at a later time. Right now we can just put the water and whatnot on the ground. Might put like a little block, cinder block or something underneath it just to keep it slightly elevated. But the whole goal is to elevate it so every time we go to move this it's easy to get in and out. We don't have to keep leaning down and taking the brick in and out and moving everything. So the less we have to move, the easier. All right, uh, we're all situated. Now it's time to get the birds in here. Who's the lucky one? See, these chicks are two and a half weeks old. They're plenty big. They're already growing huge. They're feathered out fairly well. And our weather over the next week or two is going to be in the 80s during the day in high 50s at night. So these guys are ready for the pasture. Let's get them out there.
Some of you guys might say they're a little too young to go out. You know, it's everyone's preference. These are a very hardy bird. Again, they're a Cornish cross meat bird and they grow very, very fast. There's a couple reasonings of why I wanted to put them out on pasture today. One, the temperatures this week are, like I said, are all gonna be in the mid 80s and the lows are only gonna be in the high 50s. So it's not getting super cold. There's 19 of them out here and I know they're gonna be able to stay warm. I'm not worried about that. The other thing is I get some out on pasture sooner. The more they get to forage and start getting bugs, insects, the grass, all the stuff that they naturally eat that makes the meat really good. And of course, the last thing, we've got the other chickens, the other eggs in the incubator right now. And some of those are due here in the next week, week and a half. We only have the one brooder. So I wanted to get them out on pasture so they can start foraging so we can get that brooder cleaned out because once those eggs start hatching, we need somewhere to put them and that's where they'll go. But they're already loving it. You can see they're foraging, scratching, eating the grass. All right, let's go get their water and food put in here. I found a little cricket. Actually, it's a pretty good sized cricket. Let's see what they do. <laughs> they loved it. They're all fighting over it. But I got the uh, food and water filled up here. I did go ahead and I ran back to this old pile of blocks that we have and just got a couple scrap pieces of block. I'm gonna use these, put them in so I can put the water and uh, feeder on top of them. That way, it's not at ground level. They're not scratching and kind of, you know, pooping and getting the stuff all nasty. First thing I'll put in there is water. That way they have a water source here. They're a little small right now for how high that water is, but they'll grow so fast that probably within the next two, three days, they're gonna be tall enough. Um, they can still get to it right now, as you can see. They just kind of extend their neck a little bit. They can still get to the water. But let's do the same thing with the food here. Let's give them some food initially to pick at. There we go. What you see them doing in the back down there, uh, they're actually chasing insects that get in here. If it's ants or beetles or any kind of little bugs that are getting into the pen here, they're all kind of fighting each other over the fresh bugs. <laughs> That's what they're supposed to be doing. That's awesome. All right, last thing we're gonna do is button up this fence and then turn the charger on. I take this loop, pull it through. It's blinking green, that's a good thing. Now I just want to take our charger, just make sure it's working. So all you need to do for this, take the ground stick, just push it in the ground, and then put this, hook this around the fence. You see it's jumping, it's hard to see on camera. See it's popping all the way up to 7,000 volts, that's a good thing. That clicking noise that you hear, anywhere there's weeds, it's kind of just shorting out on those a little bit. A lot of people will mow the area that get all that down real low. I didn't really worry about it this time. As long as the fence stays charged, that's all that matters. I don't care about the clicking noise. It's actually good to have a little audio reminder for anyone that's trying to get into it. So yeah, I want it nice and tight to the ground, but I didn't want to mow anything down. I want the chickens to be able to forage and get that. So there we go. Chickens are out here on pasture now. It's good, the fence is on. Now we just gotta come out here and move them around again every morning and maybe afternoon. Once they get bigger, that's where they, you start moving twice a day. But in the beginning, probably for the next month, month and a half, we'll probably only have to move them like once a day. The whole goal is just to keep them on fresh grass. I mean, 
they're gonna poop and forage up all that and eat it. If it's all cut down and it's just nothing but all their fecal matter, there's no point in just let them sit there and lay in that. You just move them, get them into a nice fresh green pasture here. All right, guys, got the uh, compost all stirred up here. Put the old bedding in here. This is basically old bedding from the chickens and the pigs combined with some clippings and some ash from the burner pile from last year that we're still working on right here. I turned this one up here pretty good. Uh, there was a couple dry pockets, but most of it was doing good. We had a lot of good earthworms and grubs and whatnot in here, which is awesome. We usually collect a handful of the grubs and Jerry brings them down as little snacks for the chickens and they love it. <laughs> I'm just gonna spray these down with some water and then get the brooder cleaned out and then we should be done be ready for the next batch of chicks guys Whew, it's a little bit of work but feels good to get it done oh. is that as far as we're gonna be able to go I guess I can't spray them down right now I don't have the other hose on here to be able to pull it out all right the hose don't reach out there but I want to give a little bit of water on those piles just to let it set well that's not good We're gonna need a new nozzle for this hose. This joint's busted out. Just want to keep it nice and moist in there, keep it active. Once we get a longer hose, I can get over there, but for right now, this will have to do. That compost pile should be good. Let's just do the new one. We'll get one or two buckets on there.
Not good. Got to move you guys. Oh, wow, all right guys. Well, we got the chickens out on pasture. That's awesome. Got the rooter cleaned out. They're ready for the next chicks. Everything's cleaned and rinsed. We got the compost pile stirred, re-wet. Uh, thanks a lot for following along today, guys. You know, it feels good to get these things done, get the chickens out on pasture. It's just gonna be a matter of time before they're big enough to harvest and going in the freezer, so time flies. I'm gonna head back to the house and get cleaned up and relax for the night. But I hope everyone has a good one. Thanks a lot. Until next time, guys. We'll see you later.